All right, in this video, we're going to do some introductory work with Python and some calculations. Let's get started. Look at this right here. I've done a couple things. Uh, I created a very simple equation. Answer equals 5 plus 2. Answer is the variable that will hold the answer or sum of 5 plus 2. And then in line 2, I said, hey, print the answer. Here we go. Look at that. I click run. We wait. And it prints the answer. Super exciting, right? You want subtraction? I got you. Let's change that plus to a minus on line one. Run it. It works. Division. I'm so glad you asked. Is a slash. Check that out on line one. Let's run it. Very cool. And multiplication is a star. You can call it an asterisk. And we'll run it. And we got that happening. So this is totally working, right? Answer holds the answer. Line two, print, prints the answer. Okay, but what if we want to work with some variables instead? So let's say x equals 3, y equals 7. And so instead of saying answer equals 5 times 2 or whatever, I'm going to say answer equals x times y. And now we run it. We got 21. And just as there's proof, we're going to say answer equals x plus y. And we got that as well. So with Python, of course, you can use variables for things. Now let's think about how you would ask someone for a number. Okay? So we'll stick with x, but instead of just telling it it's x equals 3, we're going to say x equals int for integer input, and then what is your number? Cool. So now x is going to be defined by the user. So let's run this. What is your number? My number is 7. Press enter. It rolls from there. And y is also 7. Answer equals x plus y, which is 14. So far, so good. Okay, let's talk a little bit about formatting this. Because right now, it just flings up a number called 14. It's not that exciting. So what if we said something like x comma uh, plus comma y comma quote. Don't you like when I talk through the punctuation? It's so satisfying. Equals comma answer. We run this again. Waiting for the computer. My number this time is going to be 2. 2 plus 7 equals 9. Now, let's not think that this is being so smart. It just says plus because I told it to. Remember, line 4 has no idea that we are using addition here. So just keep that in mind as you're working with this. Now let's break down what's happening in line 4. So print, we know that displays it, x comma. In this case, we're using x because this is a number used in a calculation, and we're putting a comma after it instead of a plus because it's not a string. Remember, we've talked about strings are just characters that have no mathematical value. But in this case, x is a number that has mathematical value. So we've got to do the comma and then quotes around the string and then comma variable comma equals comma variable. 
variables that begin or end our print statement do not need to be sandwiched by commas. There's no comma at the beginning and there's no comma at the end, right? So keep that in mind. That's really important for you to know. Use this structure when you are setting up a print statement that has integers or floats. But wait, what's a float? I'm so glad you asked. So right now, if I run this, right, it's going to ask me for a number. And I've been putting in whole numbers. But what if we want to put in a decimal? Okay, so if I put in 2.5, that, ah, it freaks out, right? Remember, our strategy with errors is always go to the bottom line first and see what's up invalid literal for int because i typed in a decimal a decimal is a float in the language of python how do i fix this no problem we're going to go up to line one x equals int and instead of it saying int i'm going to say float now it's going to happily accept that decimal because i changed that number right there so let me run this again what is my number? It's 2.5. 2.5 plus 7 equals 9.5. That's a lot better, isn't it? What happens if I put in a whole number? No problem. We got you. What's my number? My number is 5. It does display it as a decimal number, but the math works. And at this point, that's what we want. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope it helps you in your future Python projects and have a great day.